morning everybody welcome back to the channel something a little bit different this time I just wanted to show you what we're up to in this ditch so last year we started cleaning out this ditch and uh, it's all going quite smoothly until we got to here and this willow had fallen down it's a black poplar and uh, we couldn't really access the the ditch to clean it out so we've had it tree sheared as you can see and we've got lots of uh, all the prunings on the side and today we've got the delivery of a mega chipper coming to chip it all up and that will be added to our composting pile for this year so part of my thinking for this is that these trees have really quite deep roots and will be able to mobilize uh, nutrition from deeper down in the profile and they fundamentally they're unique to our area it's not like um you know you're importing wood chip when from a source that you don't know they are coming from on farm so uh nice way to recycle a bit of carbon and to complement our compost heap so let's see uh, how the chipper gets on
it's a beautiful sunny Wednesday and we are drilling and con continuing our Claydon and Moore uh, mix and I'm on my way to the rolls to chase a drilling tractor but I just wanted to share a little bit of a challenge we're having with this field here so this was the last field that we planted with the um, with flexi wheat uh, I think this was a February drilling jate but I'll put it in the comments below and the issue we're having is that when you're planting in the middle of winter nobody else is stupid enough to be planting and so uh, birds tend to concentrate on your fields the other issue is that with the claydon it's very difficult to roll in the middle of winter and so we've got had quite a lot of uh, bird damage in this last field so we've got a plant here and next to it you can see this hole where a rook has dug out the seed um, the plants are currently at sort of single leaf some of them are at two leaves but they're still very um, young and as you can see with the claydon has left it quite rough but it's very friable and so we've had a bit and you can see lines here there's a thicker bit where there's a bit of overlap but it's too thin for our liking so there was a lot of debate about how we were going to handle this situation uh, were we going to sort of patch it once it uh, germinates personally i think that you know there are some stronger bits of the field there was a big internal discussion about how to handle it my preference was just to roll it to try and um, stop the birds getting access you know there's still some chitting grain I think that there was a little bit of uh, I think the preems were having a little bit of an effect on some because the depth of the seed wasn't very uh, consistent but what we decided to do was one pass with the fertilizer spinner and just spin on another uh, 200 kilos of seed just dirty seed straight out of the heap just spin it on our idea was that because the surface has got so many holes in undulations the, and the, the surface is so friable that it will get, it will crush the seed so I've actually got a very good example I promise you this has not been created but in there are two wheat seeds and this is a classic example I'm anticipating that roll will come over crush this and bury the seed just enough to bury the difference now I realize this is a conventional system the uh, preems will still be active there's a significant chance that, that some of those will be killed by the preems however what we're looking for is just an extra 10 15 percent just to get us over the edge and get our plant populations up so um we'll cut to some footage of rolling and uh, the rolls are here they're rolling all of the spring oats next door once they finish that they're going to come here and just uh, roll this in and we'll see if it has an effect but certainly one pass with a fertilizer spinner is a lot cheaper than coming back with the rolls so that's our strategy and uh, we'll follow it through to harvest as ever so this is the bottom of the field still looking quite barren but as we go up you can see the line starting to appear and they get progressively stronger as we go up the hill um, so to me that tends to indicate that this is a moisture as in on the, on the side of the hill it's a bit drier and the bottom it was too wet for drilling here's classic where the rooks have hoiked out the seed um, but it doesn't look too bad here nice big badger set in the middle of the field not very helpful and as you see the rows are definitely clearer to see now that it's been rolled we wouldn't want to fall down there 
there's uh, the field next door is actually called Badger's Home up there because the rear axle of a combine was once ripped off in a Badger set so we don't treat them lightly um, tram line but it is they are it is a bit hit and miss but certainly a lot better if we just have a look down here and scratch around can we see any wheat Being buried. I think it's still coming up, you see. We did find some earlier. Oh, yeah. There's a wheat on the surface, he won't grow. But I'm wondering, there are plenty of these holes. There you go. And two grains in there, they might grow. Another one there. So, we shall see. I haven't lost time this bottom if I have to stitch it in that's still possible stitch it in with the more but at least we've tried something before this rolling